Getting to know you. Heaven letter number 5962. March 22nd, 2017. Everyone has a unique story. Born into the same family, both parents the same, no two children are alike. For all you can tell, the children could have come together from the ends of earth, yet somehow they find themselves living their childhoods together. As you may see it, it is a puzzle that children so disparate could have ever somehow come to live together. It seems impossible, and it also seems destined. Had the children been assembled in an orphanage together, the chooser's eyes closed, could they have turned out so unmatched as they were? Yet there is family, and desire for family and desire to belong and perhaps desire not to belong as well. Everyone is unique. You are unique. Wherever you were born, no matter the circumstances, you are you, and, often, you are a surprise to yourself. There is a song called Getting to Know You. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. Your life on earth is a remarkable opportunity to form a relationship with yourself. Bouncing off of other people is one way you find out who you are. Yes, in the world. You are getting to know this personality you are in this lifetime. At the same time, you are also discovering the underlying truth of you. You are all one in the relative world regardless of individuality. Oneness is the reality in the midst of individuality. No matter what you look like, what family you were born to, in terms of personality on earth, there is no other just like you. You are incomparable, yet in oneness, all are united with all and you are oneness. Appreciate oneness, and appreciate uniqueness. The twain shall meet. Oneness, in terms of the world, does not mean you have to assume the characteristics of everyone else or anyone else. You don't have to try. What a relief to be yourself and not have to play a different role and be away from yourself. Everyone's story in the world begins with once upon a time. Regardless, once upon a time is how stories on earth begin. Your story on a higher and deeper level has nothing to do with time, for you have always been, and time has nothing to do with you, for you are timeless, and timeless means eternal. Eternal is not long-lasting. In terms of eternal, there is no counting. Long or short do not have anything to do with eternal. You are not a deck of cards laid out here and there every now and then. You belong to the lineage of God. You are my radiance. You are my being on earth. We, the noted you and I, are so full of dimensions that we are out of the realm of dimension. We soar beyond dimension, or you can say that we never run out of dimensions, for we go deep. We are endless. We are eternal. We are eternity and infinity rolled up in one. I had a thought, and my thought became an idea. And you have chased my love, even as love goes far beyond the concept of idea. Even on the level of once upon a time, even in costume, even through illusion, you are still oneness, only you have been oneness without the realization that you are. You are still seeking the oneness that you are and always were. Circumstances have been major to you, yet circumstances are not relevant to who you are. What do circumstances have to do with oneness? You may still be playing hide-and-go-seek with yourself in the world. In fact, you most certainly are. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org